I violated the minimum wage law. Would you be willing to cuff me? Uh, is this a joke? Starting tomorrow, I'm no longer just a shipping clerk. I'm chairman of the board. And it's all because of... Freaking.com Representative, you run the Highway Committee, is that yeah, correct? Gone down there Public Works and Highways, correct. Okay, so should someone who's kind of got a reputation as being a wild driver be running the Highway Committee? I don't think that's a very fair question. Why not? What's your status with the Crown Plaza? Do they allow you back on the property? Representative Flagman, got a question for you. I understand you're a supporter. I'm sorry, who are you? It's Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. We've talked be we've talked before. Well, okay. Uh, I understand you're a minimum wage supporter, correct? Yes. You vote for the minimum wage. Yes. Well, I just wanted to turn myself in for arrest. Uh, you can cuff me now. I've violated the minimum wage law. Would you be willing to cuff me? Uh, is this a joke? No, I've, I really violated it. It was, well, a, it was so, a few years ago. Yes. I hired a homeless guy, paid him six bucks an hour to sit in a comfy chair. Do you think I should be arrested? No, I'm serious. I've got video of it. A yes or no would work. Representative Mulholland, I've got a question for you. Yeah. Uh, do you support the arrest of that young man who was arrested at, at uh, your town hall meeting? I don't know if you witnessed it or not. I'm not going to comment. Do you uh, support the banning of videography in uh, town hall? Please. Some of the things you told me when I was speaking with you earlier about this were ambiguous. I beg your pardon? Well, I made somebody very happy. I'm a widow. Well, it's unclear. Do you support banning videography in town hall or not? I told you already. I couldn't hear you. question for you. Yes. You're, you're one of the co-sponsors of the, the gun bill that got so much controversy, right? Yes. About you have to go through a licensed mm -hmm. dealer and whatnot. Um, what's that like? Are, are you used to being uh, in the crosshairs of, of the, the gun rights folks? Or? Well, no. I, I felt that it was became very emotional. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's too bad because I think most people, including gun dealers I've talked to, say that they do think it's a good idea to have a reference, a, a background check every time a gun changes hands. But it is between two people that don't know each other. I thought the amendment that the committee ended up with was excellent. And it did get voted in and then there were a lot of other problems. So. Are you, do you generally consider yourself to be against violence? Oh, I'm certainly against violence. Well, wouldn't you have had to use violence to arrest the people who peaceably sold guns to each other without your permission? I don't know about that one. I, I, I've got to go and let a dog. I have to rescue him. <laughs> oh, she, she told well, at least me to someone's go. being honest about what they're doing. <laughs> All, right. All right. See you guys and thank you. Driving in circles around Central Keene, 
I hurl both insults, angry and mean, against the activists from Free Keen. Uh, who wander around thinking as though they were free, and even though they aren't hurting me, I will hate them hatefully, urging their appearance in the penitentiary. Although that expense would be charged to me, I'm starting to feel Somewhat confusedly.